Hey guys, uh, Viper Mike here, back with another video. Um, I was reading the comments on my some of my other videos that I've posted recently, and um, somebody was actually asking uh, about the uh, the air pump for the seats. Um, so I figured I'd make a quick video um, about how I fixed the pump in my car. Um, when I originally got it, the uh, the pump wasn't working, and the, so the adjustment for the seats wasn't doing anything. So. Um, I'll show you what I did in order to uh, to fix the pump and uh, they're not cheap to buy new and it's a fairly simple uh, repair so uh, before you want to go and order a new one I would suggest that you uh, try to fix yours um, it's worth a shot because it doesn't take very long and uh, could save you a couple hundred bucks so um, I'll ta let's take a look and, and see how it goes here so the pump itself, it's located underneath the uh, the battery tray cover, and right next to where the battery is. So first thing you want to do um, is you want to move your seats forward. I've got the ignition on right now. So what I'm talking about is these adjustments for your seat. Um, they don't normally work if your pump's not working. So um, when you flip these forward, you can kind of see the the back is is coming out or when you flip it back it lets the air out so it's kind of hard to hear with this uh, cover in place so let's get rid of that um, you need a little flathead screwdriver to to undo these two bolts here and then that uh, releases the cover So we'll turn those and that should allow us to get the cover out of the way. We probably want to move the passenger seat forward too because you can see the, uh, the cover is hitting the rail of the passenger seat. So we'll do that. Okay, I've got the passenger seat moved forward. So now that allows us to lift the cover out of the way. So now we've exposed our battery and next to the battery is where the pump lives so in order to get to the pump you need to uh, get the battery out of the way so you've got uh, some 10 millimeter nuts that hold the uh, hold the brace uh, to hold the battery down and then you've got the uh, the terminals that you need to undo I think you just heard the uh, the pump go off so that's the first thing you kind of want to do before you start taking things apart is you want to let's say we flip one of these switches forward and you can hear that the pump kicked on so if yours doesn't do that then obviously your pump is not working obviously mine kicks on like it's supposed to um, but let's get this battery out of there and then I'll show you uh, how to get to the pump. Alright, so we'll go ahead and undo these. And we'll undo our terminals. Now we can lift the battery out. So now that we got the battery out of the way, you can see that uh, that's where the air pump lives. It's a little dark in here now with the interior lights going off. But anyway, there's this little foam piece that goes there, and there's your air pump. So, in order to get it out, there's another foam block here that kind of holds it, holds it down, prevents it from moving. And then you've got your uh, air lines that go to it, and then there's uh, an electrical connector. So we'll go ahead and uh, get the pump out now. 
So to get uh, to get these air lines off, you need your screwdriver again, and you just kind of pry them up like that from the bottom. That'll open it up a little bit, and then the air line will pop off. That's the uh, the easiest way to do it. So I've got the one off. And we'll get the second one. And you want to be careful. You don't want to break any of the plastic, obviously. that one and then we just have our electrical connector so now we have the pump out so also what you might want to do is if you're not sure if the pump is actually your problem is you want to test the electrical connector so that would involve putting the battery back in and uh, and just testing the terminals there and make sure you've got power so I mean in my case I'm obviously I know I'm getting power um, but uh, if you're not sure then I would suggest that you just use a test light and um, and you test those connections well here why not let's put the battery in and I'll show you how to do that okay so we've got our battery back in got our test light hooked up here so obviously when we touch positive it goes on so I, I pulled the connector out so we could get to it before I put the battery in. So now you can see that uh, I've got the ignition off right now and the top left pin has constant power and the other two pins don't have any power. So let's turn the ignition on. we'll see what happens here so now the bottom pin also has power so the top left is constant looks like the bottom left is switched and I'm assuming the other ones ground so to confirm that let's switch the test light over to positive and we'll touch it here and see that that lights up so now so the top right is ground and then these two are positive so if you don't have power there then what you need to do is you need to check your fuses. Now, most of the fuses live on the side right here. They're just on the side of the center console. And to get to them, you can, you got to move the passenger seat all the way up, move it all the way. It's like as far forward as it'll go. And then there's a couple, and then you want to move it up also. And then there's a couple pins down, down below that hold this cover in place so I'll put the light here that way you guys can see so you just kind of pry this thing out of the way these things just pop out and that'll expose your fuses fuse box now I don't know exactly which fuse it is for the uh, the pump but I'm sure that's probably online somewhere and if it's not any of these then it's the other fuse box um, which is uh, I believe is under the hood but in any event um, once you've confirmed that you've got power at this connector and that your fuses are good then we you can move on to the actual pump repair because once you know that you've got power there then you know your pump is faulty so now that we've got our pump out here um, I'll go ahead and uh, show you how to take it apart it's pretty easy you just pull this cover off okay so now we'll start working on the pump itself so all you need is a small screwdriver or a pick of some sort. So all you need to do is just pry the cover off of these pins here. 
could even do it by hand. But so I've got the one side out. And we'll get the other side. It's a little finicky, but you can get it off fairly easily. And obviously just be careful. You don't want to break it. Okay, so we've got the bottom cover off and you can see our air pump just sits right there. So now, we just pull the pump out, can disconnect the air line from the top, it just clips in, and then you have your two electrical connectors, positive and negative. If you're looking at it this way, this one's marked red, so that's your positive, I'm assuming. And that's your negative so don't forget how those go and it's marked red here also so you can see red goes to red so now you've got your pump taken apart and um, I think I tried looking up this number before I think you can actually get um, just the pump itself you don't have to buy the whole assembly for Mercedes if you for whatever reason can't fix your pump but all you really need to do is you take these four small Phillips head screws out and then the pump comes apart. So let me grab my small screwdriver and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so now that you've got the pump out, all you need to do, um, at first I thought you'd got to take these screws out, but now I remember that all you need to do is you, uh, you pry these pins back like so, these metal tabs that hold the uh, the bottom of the motor in place so you pry these with a small screwdriver like that and that allows this to separate so you can kind of see there's a little notch here where this goes so you just pry that open and make sure you got these tabs bent all the way out That'll allow, allow the bottom part here to come out. They're not, they're not pried all the way out then. It'll make your life difficult. Okay. So now we've got this taken apart. So you see here, you've got this is the assembly. You've got a couple magnets and they're on these springs and it rides on this here. So when that spins that creates power um, and what ends up happening is it gets dirty. So the biggest issue here is that that coil. I don't know if you can see it um, I'll try bring it closer. See how it's black there? Eventually, it gets really dirty, and and it doesn't create power when the when the motor tries to spin. So, the way I did it is I took a little piece of uh, red Scotch Brite, and I went in there and I cleaned it up. I think this is copper. So once you when you clean it up, get get all the black off. Um, that'll allow it to make contact again with these magnets that are on the end here, and and then the motor should work again. So um, since we got this apart, we might as well clean up the uh, the surface again so it doesn't fail anytime soon, and then we can put it back together. So I just cut a little piece of red scotch brite and so what I want to do is there's this little nylon washer that sits on top. Take that off and then you can take your scotch brite and just uh, clean up the copper. So you can kind of see that it's cleaning up all the, uh, the black marks off of it.
Now obviously my pump still worked, so this isn't as dirty as uh, it could be. When I first took it apart, this was completely black. Okay, so now we've got it cleaned up for the most part. It's good enough. So then we take our nylon washer, slide that back on. So the hardest part about this whole thing is pulling these apart as you're trying to uh, to put this back together because obviously these need need to uh, sit on the copper part below the uh, where the nylon washer is so it's just a little finicky I think the easiest way is to just use your screwdriver to kind of guide these on there and obviously the the tip of the shaft here needs to go into that opening there that's where it, it sits So I've got one magnet on, and then we'll push this back and get the other one on. And now we just need to uh, clock this so it goes back where it's supposed to be. Just like so. So now this notch is back in its home, and we can... Uh, push these tips back on I mean these tabs push them back in and your motors back together again so now we take this reconnect our electrical connectors red to red black and sit the pump back in there push this back in its home And you can kind of see the pump just sits there on those foam pieces. And then we can take our cover and make sure that um, it looks like this hose should go about there. And we just snap it all back together. So now we've got our pump back together, let's go plug it in and make sure it works. Okay, so now we can take our pump, plug the connector in. And then turn the ignition on. here that the pump kicked on. So now the pump's doing its thing. Obviously it's pumping. So now we can uh, put the whole thing back together. So we'll go ahead and uh, pull the battery back out. And then we can put the pump back in its home and put everything back together. So after pulling the battery back out, just take our pump, get our air lines back on. So the lines are two different lengths. So the black one, there's a black one and a gray one. So if you remember how the pump was sitting, it went in like that. So your gray one goes on the on the front nipple and the black one goes on the back one 
So we'll just push this back in there. Hope you guys can see that. It's not the best angle here. Let's try that. So we want to make sure we get our pump back in its in its place. And now we can take our air lines and just push them back on. And that's that. So make sure you tuck everything out of the way. Nothing gets pinched by the battery. Um, so now we can put our battery back in and double check that we have no leaks or anything and that the seats work. Okay, so we've got the battery back in. Tighten the uh, tighten the terminals back down. Put our, put our brace back on. And then we'll check the pump. So now we've got our battery back in. We'll turn the ignition on again. So we can try our seat adjustments. I don't know if you can hear it. But the pump kicked on. And it's working like it's supposed to. So we'll dump that back out. Let's try this one. So you can kind of see the sides of the seat should start inflating. So it does what it's supposed to do. So that's that. Now we can uh, finish putting it all back together. Don't forget to put your fuse cover back on. And uh, that should be it. So I've got the brace for the battery tightened down. Now we can take our cover and slide that back on. And then turn our lock screws. Cup holder goes back here. There's, there should be a couple screws here that hold the cup holder down, but mine are always have always been missing, so I'm doesn't really bug me all that much. And then we'll take our fuse cover, put that back on, and then we're all done. So that's that's the whole repair here. Um, I hope this video was useful for you guys. Um, if you have any questions, comment down below. Um, and uh, like and subscribe, please. That'll really help my channel grow. And uh, if you have any other uh, videos you want me to make, just let me know, and I'll do my best to make it for you. Thanks guys, thanks for watching, have a good one.